Hey guys, it's Coach Damon. We get a lot of questions about how can I improve my weak hand when I'm handling the ball. So today we're going to bring you a seven drill series that you can do pretty much anywhere to work on your weak hand. Now that's not to say you shouldn't do this with your strong hand, but if you focus on this and do this 10 to 12 minutes per day for the next month, the next two months, the next three months, you're going to notice noticeable improvements in your weak hand. The great thing about this series is you can do it in your bedroom, you can do it on the sidewalk, you can do it in the gym, anywhere a ball bounces, you can do this series focusing heavily on whether it's your left or your right, whatever your non-dominant hand is. The goal when we get to the end of this, when you've done this series for a couple months, is for you to no longer be labeling your weak hand your weak hand. Each hand is an equal weapon and you can use them both to drive, to pass, or to finish. Now our first drill is gonna be a rhythm series to 20. And you're gonna start and you're gonna go one high, one hip, one low, and you're gonna start with one. So I'm going one, one, one. And then as soon as you get that one, you're going to two. So I'd go one, two, one, two, one, two. And as you may have guessed, as soon as we do two, we're going to three. As soon as we go three to four, and then all the way to 20. So when our hips are dropped and we're here, we're controlling the ball and we are technically working on just pounding that ball out. And then when I go to the next level, I'm working on being able to manipulate that ball from shoulder to hip. And then when I go low, I'm working on being able to handle that ball anywhere in my range of motion. So let's say I had four, I'd be one, two, three, four, hip, one, two, three, four, ankle, one, two, three, four. And then you work your way all the way to 20. Your arm is gonna start to burn out by the time you get to 10. By the time you get to 20, it's gonna be dead. But the entire time, you were just <laughs> repping out quick, explosive, hard pounds with that non-dominant hand. Our next drill is going to be burnout V-dribbles. And you're going to go four sets. You're going to go 10 seconds, 20, 30, and then 40. Again, with your non-dominant hand, you're just going to burn out with a V-dribble, shifting that ball back and forth. What we don't want you to do is to be right at the ground, just tapping it back and forth. I really want you to shift it. It may help to even draw a line to the middle of your body and try to hit that line every single time. Or you can put your right hand over and imagine you're trying to hit your right every single time. Exaggerate that V, burn out for 10, 20, 30, and 40, really repping it out. One, two, three. As hard as you can to the point that you feel like you're gonna make a mistake. Our third drill is gonna be a drop and split where we're gonna add the feet. A lot of times with young players, if they have a weakness in one hand, it's not so much with their ability to handle the ball as it is with their ability to segment their body, use their feet, create space, create separation, attack defenders, and bring it all together. So in drop and splits, we're going one, two, three, and I'm going to pull it to my hip just like if I was exploding by the defender. So I'm one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Notice my hand never goes under the ball. I'm just pulling it to my pocket, and I'm one, two, split. That's my three. And if this was a game, obviously, next step would be as they close, I explode by with that right. One, two, pull and split. I'm dropping my hips. I'm splitting my feet. I'm working on a game move with my non-dominant hand. Our next move, again, adding our feet, is we're going to be working on a hard side or lateral jab. As I create space laterally, I'm creating a driving lane vertically. So what I'm going to work on is going one, two, hard three, where I jab, but I don't bring the ball across my body. So I'm one, two, three, putting myself in position again to drive by the defender. I'm developing my left hand, but I don't just want to have a great handle with my left. I want to have great feet and great body control, being able to control my entire body while I handle with my left. So if I was working through it, I would be one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Once you get the hang of it, you can go one to one. One, one. One, one. One, one. One, one. One, one. Ball and foot through the ground every single time. Drill number five, I'm going back to being able to manipulate the ball with my feet stationary in a cone hop series. I want to be able to handle the ball anywhere I can touch. And for a lot of guys, that means if the ball is on the left side of their body, they can only handle it with their left, and the same with their right. But if you want to be good with the in and out, 
or good with different counters, it doesn't matter where the ball is, you want to be able to handle it with both. Now obviously that doesn't mean dribble the ball up the court on the outside of your body. It means having the ability to do that when the time is necessary. This cone hop series is going to develop that. So my hips are going to be dropped and I'm literally just hopping the cone back and forth, back and forth. Similar to the V dribble burnouts, you're going to go where every dribble on the left is one. So I'm going one, two, three. And I'm going to do a rep of 10, a set of 20, a set of 30, and a set of 40 as I work to develop that non-dominant hand. Make sure your hips are dropped. I'm not slow. I want you to force yourself to make mistakes. Go to the point that you lose it. Pound, ha, pound, ha, pound, ha. Force the ball through the floor. Get better with your non-dominant hand. Our sixth drill is going to be a wall pass series. Everything that we've done so far, and even in our seventh drill, is going to be about putting the ball through the floor, manipulating it, using your left in a handling situation. Part of having confidence with your left is also being able to finish and be able to pass with your left. So in this continuous wall pass series, we're going to have our hips drop, and all we're going to do is pass against the wall, pass left, and catch left, trying to hit the same spot repeatedly. Now our goal isn't to hit it repeatedly and have it bounce back slowly going. Our goal is to really fire it at the wall as quickly as we can. Pass left, catch left, building not just our ability to use our left, but our confidence in it. So again, it's not slow. I'm not catching with two and making sure I'm hitting that spot. I'm firing it through to the point that I feel like I'm going to lose it. Drill number six in our series to improve your weak hand. Drill number seven, and this is the only one where you need a little bit of space, is we're actually going to do a triple move combo with the ball just in your left. Obviously when you get in the gym and you're training, it's about developing your game. But you have to have what, you have to find ways to have fun. And if you put numbers on drills, if you work on combinations that, hey, you may not do ever in a game, but they're fun to work on, they develop those quick hands, those quick feet, I promise you, your training experience is going to be much more positive, and the results, if you're having fun, are going to exceed those of guys who get in the gym obligatorily and can't really get through their workouts without getting bored. So with our triple move combo, we're going to go V dribble, in and out, behind the back, straight back to the left hand. Now I can mix that up and I could go V, in and out, behind the back, or in and out, in and out, behind the back but I'm gonna work my way down the court in a triple move combo with the ball never leaving my left hand. You're not gonna do this in a game, but I promise you, you're gonna have fun with it. It's gonna develop your left. It's gonna build your mental confidence. And after you've done this for a couple months, your left hand will be better because of a drill like this. So we're here, one, two, three. Here, one, two, three. Here, in and out, in and out, three. Here, in and out, three. One, two, three, 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 in and out, boom. Left, 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 combo, combo, combo. Ball's never touching the right hand. Like we said at the beginning, you don't have to just do these with your weak hand. But if you make a strict commitment to doing these every single day for the next two months, when you get to the end of two months, your left hand is gonna be quicker, it's gonna be more explosive, and it's gonna be more capable of making in-game decisions. Not only that, your confidence is going to be through the roof and your ability to use what was your weak hand and is now just another weapon.